Hey guys, so I'm sure most of you know that ScoMo is no longer the Prime Minister and obviously we're all so devastated. Like, how could this happen? How could this Anthony guy beat him? It's just really upsetting. Um, I thought I would make a montage and um, show you the, like my favourite moments from ScoMo, so let's take a look at that. Man, I tell you, Australian politicians, so insane. Like, this is the second time in my lifetime that a Prime Minister has been voted out by the public and not kicked out because some guy came along and said, hey, I want to be Prime Minister now, and then everyone got on their side of the party. This is crazy. Like, I remember in 2008, I think it was, Kevin Ryan beat John Howard Fairley, and that was the first time that there was a second Prime Minister in my lifetime because I think John Howard was there for like, what, 13 years or, so, or something? And I would have been like 11. And then in 2010, Julia Gillard came along and kicked him out. And since then, it has just been a cycle of Prime Ministers kicking each other out and then we vote for them and then they kick the next guy out. But ScoMo managed to hold the term. Actually, no, he didn't because Malcolm Turnbull was there and then he kicked him out and then took over. And now, finally, Liberal has lost for the first time in, I don't know how many years, probably like 10 years, whatever, I don't know, I'm rambling. The point is, Australian Prime Ministers suck, although I don't think they're as bad as American ones, or like North Korean ones, or Russian ones, I just think that we get idiots, you know, we don't get people that are actually like, bad guys, I don't think. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, I thought I should make this, bye. In all seriousness, we're all really glad that ScoMo is gone. I mean, time to party! But let's be real though, this new guy is going to do something and then everyone's going to start hitting him, so really it's just a vicious cycle.